Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Tasha Moore of the Random Nest Family and today this video is fall inspired from my mini decorations all the way to the meals that I will be prepping for you guys to the projects that we're gonna do, you guys are in for a blast, okay? So you guys know how I love the Dollar Tree. Absolutely adore it. And so Dollar Tree has to me some of the best flowers for a dollar. I usually love, love going to Hobby Lobby and looking at their beautiful flowers that look so realistic. But those flowers are like $20 for maybe one or two stems. This is kind of like a, a Hobby Lobby hack, okay? You go in when it's seasonal, to the Dollar Tree and I love the fall foliage that they have at the Dollar Tree because I believe that I can tie these colors in with my Christmas decorations as well. And I'm gonna show you guys some fun hacks that I'm gonna do with these. So the wax paper part is very integral but you don't have to use wax paper. You can also use a piece of plastic because the styrofoam that you stick the flowers in can tend to crumble or break up with movement and since I have four kids I want to protect my table and not have styrofoam dust everywhere and so what that does it just catches it and then when everything is said and done I can just throw it all away without any problems and I do this all the time and it totally works so I'm gonna hang up this beautiful, beautiful garland that I also found at the Dollar Tree around these mason jars that I purchased off of Amazon.com. And if you're interested in those mason jars and the little board that hangs behind them, I will have them linked down below for you guys. And if you decide to buy them, please go to our website, randomnestfamily.org and click on our Amazon link and shop through our website to Amazon and that just gives us a little bit of commission that supports our homeschool. Amazon is an affiliate of ours and so is christianbookstore.com. So if you're looking for a good book or you need a new Bible, go to our website, click on the Christian Bookstore link and shop from our link to Christian Bookstore and that'll get us a little bit of commission and we appreciate anything and everything that we get and we appreciate you doing just that <laughs> thank you guys one of the first things i did here was cut the flowers off the plastic stem with some wire cutters and i did have a little assistance with this i had to call in ryan because the wire cutters were kind of old and <laughs> they wasn't giving me what I wanted and so Ryan came in to my rescue and he finished it off for me. And so now I am inserting them into those semicircles and it is going to be gorgeous. next thing that I am going to do is I am going to open up all these beautiful 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 gel fragrance fresheners these things are amazing and it just so happens that on a trip to Dollar Tree I found name brand gel fresheners okay they had Glade they usually always have renews it and they also had snuggles and so these are really nice because First of all, they don't have any smoke. Our, we have really bad allergies here and asthma, and so we cannot have smoke in the house. 
So these gel fresheners, I call them gel candles, whatever you want to call them, I like to put them throughout the house and you really want to layer them, which means that you really don't just want one gel freshener. <laughs> you want to put at least two to a room to really layer the smells and we want it to smell like fall. We just want to usher in a whole fall vibe today. So I'm going to be putting these two beautiful cashmere woodland ones in the living room and then I'm going to put one in my laundry room and two in a downstairs bathroom, two in an upstairs bathroom and just anywhere <laughs> where I could put a gel scented fragrance candle <laughs> if you get what I'm saying guys but these things are amazing and they smell really good and to me they last a very long time especially if you have hardwood floor that does not absorb fragrances like carpet does right here in front of me first of all I have these cute little chalkboard clips that I picked up from the Dollar Tree now these are adorable because these can be used in multiple ways and they come in a pack of four I believe I bought one pack but I also got these from the Dollar Tree can you believe it these are steel guys these things are so popular right now and these are just regular black ones they don't have any of the lines like these ones do but they're all so cute and I think the ones that I'm going to use today will be these uh, these butterfly looking tag looking ones you get four I'm going to use these to organize because they don't have the little jute cord inside like these ones here I have to take those out oh well these ones don't have the jute cords either I also picked these up from the Dollar Tree adhesive velcro dots and I'm going to use those to organize my pantry cabinet. All right, guys. So this is our new pantry that we bought from. Um, where did we get this from, babe? Uh, excuse me. Where did we get that? From? <laughs> oh, we got it from Lowe's, guys. It's not as tall as my cabinet, but that's okay because I wanted to be able to reach my two baskets up there. This pantry is for kids' snacks only. So essentially, the kids got them a new snack cabinet. And so I need to organize some things and label some things for them. I have been through here and I have uh, organized stuff. They have cans of this and that. And I also store my flour in here now because it just makes it easy access for me to grab that flour and to cook. And then I have their little squeeze in here. Um, animal crackers. And this can is full of their favorite Velveeta snacks. More bars more squeezies more everything this is all the things that the kids like we have cereal i always take my cereal out and put it in a giant two gallon ziploc bag so they can always see what kind they have and this bucket up here is full of you got it crackers all kinds of crackers and popcorn at the bottom so we're going to just label this cabin and i'm thinking of just putting these little tags right here I am definitely liking the way that that's looking back there. It's beautiful. Let's get a close up.
and finishing touches. Speaking of fall, guys, look at our garden. It is going local. Yeah. These are Celosius, and in the fall, this is what they're doing in the fall. Oh my gosh, this one right here completely took over our rose tree, believe it or not. wash these in soap and water and they've been sitting in a hallway to dry we have these from our garden so we'll be using these so you want various outside foliage for this and you want to wash it thoroughly because we found that there is a lot of mites these days on leaves and so my husband has to wash these in soap and water and so that's what we'll be using the next thing you're going to need is two large pieces of cardstock and you're going to cut them in half. I think sponge brushes work best for this project. Alright, <laughs> this is the finished project. I guess I forgot to press record as the girls were finger painting this, but I had them put plastic gloves over their hands and dip their hands in paint and they finger painted this tree. And it was the funnest thing <laughs> that you ever did see. I guess we were so involved that I forgot to press record. But this is how it looks guys, it's very beautiful. And two of these will be hung in the classroom. And the other two will be bought upstairs and cut out and hung on our kitchen doors. Now it's time for the next project. And for this project, you're going to need two cardboards because they're going to make the back frame of the picture. And you also need two pieces of white cardstock paper that you will hot glue onto this cardboard. Then we'll grab all the foliage that we collected outside. And we're going to pour some paint onto this plate, more paint, and add in a little bit of white glue. And the girls are going to grab those sponges and dip it in a paint and glue mixture and paint glue those leaves onto the paper and they're going to make a beautiful leaf foliage collage. And these ideals I got from Pinterest. So if you're interested in them, I can link it to Pinterest. Or you can just go to Pinterest and type in fall inspired art or ideas. And they have a lot of cool stuff. And after this, we are going to head to the kitchen because I have some awesome breakfasts I've been dying to share with you guys.
guys, for two of the girls' trees are gonna be hung up downstairs. Um, these ones were cut out. Look how beautiful these are, guys. Isn't this gorgeous? So pretty. And we're gonna put these ones up here. And these leaf projects just came out so lovely. So I am gonna find a home for these. This is what Raya has been working on. She's been working on 3D art. She is doing editorial work in our in our fine arts class. And Raya has done this. Look how beautiful this is. Show them Raya, go up and down. So this is what she has done in fine arts. And we're gonna print this on glossy paper. Can't believe she did this. She did this in our 3D room. my 30 minute dinner rolls or my uh, yeast rolls that recipe can be found online linked here in the description box and then I'm also going to make a batch of my tortillas and that recipe can also be found online and I'll be using my favorite yeast which looks like this so if you like this kind of yeast this is what I like to use it is rapid and it gets these to go in I'm gonna make some homemade baking uh, with chocolate icing. Why cereal on top. And I'll have to cook it. First, I need some yeast. After, I can make some icing. here my tortillas are sitting and my buns they're sitting and rising so I'm just gonna leave that here underneath my tea towels and I'm gonna grab this bowl right here because now it is time for me to make my next thing so the next thing that I'm making here for you guys is some fall inspired spice cinnamon roll balls okay <laughs> now this is mama's lazy way of not rolling out the dough and making regular cinnamon rolls. While I do love to do that on this particular night, I had a lot of things to get together for school and I had some work that needed to be finalized online. So I decided to cheat and just make spiced cinnamon ball rolls. Now my cinnamon roll recipe is already online, but I'm always taking this recipe 
and creating new things with it. So this is one of the new things that I did create. And these were bomb, you guys. They were so bomb. So you can go online. You can get that recipe. And you can just copy me. But the only difference is that I added cinnamon. And I also added pumpkin pie spice. Because this is for the autumn. This is for the fall. You have to do it up. And so those ingredients I will also include online too. If you want to make a spice version of those same rolls, I'll have them linked online so that you'll be able to see my spiced version. And then a reason why I made those tortillas was because I am making a baked egg omelet on the top of a homemade tortilla. And guys, this, oh my gosh, it was so delicious. I kid you not, and it lasted us for about mm, two to three weeks. We just finished the rest of those off today. So I've made something like this before, but I use regular store-bought tortillas. I did not like the way that it came out. However, you can make breakfast burritos like this and freeze them, but I wanted more of a quiche tart sort of thing and so what I did was I just made my tortillas I did not par bake them in the oven instead I just poured the egg mixture right on top and baked it in the oven and cut them up when they got done and it came out beautiful are my family's absolute favorite and I've made these buns hundreds of times of course this recipe is also online so you can throw this together I didn't make it no other way than how I usually make it but I just made them bigger because I want to cut them open and put sausage and eggs inside to make a complete breakfast sandwich and these are good for you guys if you um, go to church on Sundays you can just grab a sandwich out of the freezer and heat it up for about a minute or so and be on the go with a whole breakfast intact. And so I love to make these because a lot of times we need to get going on our day. We don't have a lot of time to waste. We need to start school or we need to go into prayer and devotion and maybe we got up late. I don't know anything. I like to have food prepared in the freezer. So this is what this fall inspired breakfast meal prep is all about. It's fall meals that you can grab on the go. my sausage here and I just got some Jimmy Dean turkey sausage you like to try to keep it healthy as much as possible well actually try we like to keep it healthy as much as possible so I have a pack of these uh, circle sausage that I got from the freezer and I have a pack of these longer sausage so there's gonna be one sausage per bun we have 18 buns but 16 sausage that's okay because I plan to put honey ham in the rest with those buns. I'm just gonna use a little pepper this time and a little garlic salt. Let's get started. This is 
milk. I'm gonna put a little milk on your bones to brown them. So now I'm going to show you guys how I store everything when I meal prep. So of course the theme breakfast meal prep is fall inspired. So these are fall inspired breakfasts that I like to make to hold us over during the fall. Although I do do a simpler version of them during the summer that are lighter. But in the fall I like to go just a little bit heavier so I'm, I did make a lot of bready things. But you want to get some really good wax paper. And I like this wax paper because it freezes the food very well without constantly sticking to the actual um, item that you're folding up. So I'm going to take this wax paper, I am going to cut it in half down the long side, and I'm just simply going to wrap everything in it guys. You're going to see me building these breakfast sandwiches and wrapping them up. I'm going to show you guys how to wrap up my quiche. And then I'm going to show you guys how to even wrap up and store the cinnamon rolls. And these will freeze beautifully. Beautifully. And all you have to do is grab one out of the bag for each child and warm it up. What we like to do sometimes is defrost them in the refrigerator overnight, the amount that we're going to eat, so that it's easy for the kids to go in and just heat them up in the microwave. And so let me know below if you guys have enjoyed this whole fall inspired video. This video was big. <laughs> it's the biggest fall inspired one that I've made so far. <laughs> because you know we love to get into the kitchen. So the week after next week, the video is gonna be all about fall cooking. I have some dinners, I have some more desserts. We're gonna be going fall full force. But before we get into all that cooking, we do have to make another Costco run. So we will hit up Costco next week. Stab holes in your cinnamon roll bun so that your glaze, your cinnamon sugar glaze, will go through it. Since we didn't roll it out and put cinnamon sugar on the inside, this is just another fast and easy way. And I have stored all my food that I made inside the freezer. Plenty of food, plenty of meal prepping. thank you guys today for visiting us and coming to our brand new channel and I hope you guys can really enjoy it here we are so happy with this channel and we're so glad that we did all the work that it took to move and it literally took two weeks because we had really built up our last channel we had to move everything we had to re-verify everything but we're so glad that we made a move you guys and I just pray that you guys will subscribe as you're watching this video if you're new here of course we're at the Randall Ness family um, you'll see our website uh, at the bottom of the screen 
on every video and we no longer have an Instagram page so if you see videos with our Instagram on it we no longer have Instagram it took up too much of our time and we would rather have things that are beneficial for us that take up less time so that we can spend more time together as a family I want to take this time to really 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 thank you guys so much we so appreciate it we love you guys so much and we're always praying for you always 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 and if you ever have a prayer request you can go ahead and go to our website and visit our prayer request page and we will be praying for you guys there but thank you for coming to our new channel and don't forget that we also have a live inspired channel too because we have separated the workload that we did before so this channel is only dedicated to our family vlogs and the live inspired channel will be for our live inspired messages and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified of anything that we put out and we usually put out videos twice a week once now on this channel and once on the other channel so it'll be two times a week but on different channels you want to hit the bell button so you'll be notified and that way you can catch us whenever we put something out thank you guys so much